All right, ladies and gentlemen, at this stage of the project, uh, nothing is really, not much is really hooked up to the motherboard. We still have uh, our power button, hard drive and power LEDs connected. Right here is the uh, USB front jacks. Um, and we also have the audio for the front jacks as well. By the way, the KV, excuse me, the K8M800M has built-in integrated audio and built-in integrated video. <clears throat> um, so pretty much now at this point, I'm going to start looking for the screws, and then I'm just going to start to loosen them, and then we're going to transplant the rest of this board on over into this new machine here. Got that breaker bar. Okay, I am got the very top one here. After this one screw will be done with the loosening of the screws part. Okay. And you know, be real careful because sometimes it's a pretty tight area that we're trying to get into, especially when you're dealing with small cases like that, like this here. Okay. Alright, now All screws on the main board are loose, and let's see here. What I'm doing right now is just take note. There's three things you got to remember. You got the power button, you got the hard drive light, and you got the power LED. Make sure you take careful note of where that is connected on your main board, and you'll see that there's wires specifically for that that are labeled as such uh, when I do mainboard transplants that's one critical area that we should never overlook and as a matter of fact any any part of this you should never overlook all right let's see now be careful and just go ahead on and you know just start taking out these screws this is the the guts of the operation here. At picking up the main board. Okay. And as you can see, got the main board in hand. Alright. Um, wow. I'm going to get ready to mount this into this new case here. It's going to be different. It's going to be interesting. Alright ladies and gentlemen, my main board is basically secured to this new case here. At this point, there is no turning back. All critical components have been removed from my Explorer RS2800. As you can see, that's the empty shell of it laying there. Um, only thing that, you know, uh, it just, I left the power supply in there. But, ladies and gentlemen, there is no going back. Now, the next stage of this is i, I got to figure out what wires what and start getting things hooked up.